and they were making these super fast, super easy, super delicious air fried calzones. Look at it, look at it inside. Do you see all those bubbles? You'll literally think you just got this from a pizzeria. So good, six minutes, that's all it takes to make. Wanna see how we make them? Let's keep watching. All right, so you're gonna start with your regular old store-bought pizza dough. I laid it out onto a floured surface. Um, I've said this before, you always want to work with the pizza dough when it's cold. It makes it that much easier to work with. So now we're going to try to make this into three equal portions. So what we're going to do, do like this, like this, a little twisty action here. Because if you just try to just cut the dough, it's going to be hard to roll it into a circle. So by doing it like this, it'll be that much easier. So we're going to cut it into the three different portions. and then form these into circles. There's one. There's two. And three. So now we got our three separate circles of dough that we're going to each turn to three different calzones. All right. So now we're going to play with the dough, kind of spread it out by hands first to get a nice shape. This is still way too thick, so we're going to keep playing with it. So it just gets a little bit bigger. You want this pretty much to be about an eight inch circle. A little bit more flour. I'm gonna roll this out. Roll it out, a little more flour. There we go. And then we're gonna stretch it by hands. A little stretchy stretchy there you have your first calzone shell all right now we're gonna do the other ones all right so once you have all your peels uh rolled out you're ready to start your uh fillings so we're gonna start with your typical filling for a calzone which is ricotta we're putting about a heaping tablespoon into each one this one's a little bit bigger so it could stand to have a little bit more in there all right all right, so we've got our ricotta in each of these. Right. Now we're gonna put, mm, I love ricotta. All right, now we're gonna put some mozzarella. Again, probably just about a quarter cup. On top of each one. This one's a little bit bigger, so we can put a little bit more. All right. You're gonna wanna make sure you don't go right to the edge, because we're gonna have to fold these over. All right. So that's pretty much your basic um, calzone. You can fold it over, but now we're gonna do some toppings. This one, we're gonna do some basil. I'm gonna do the big boy with some pepperoni. Yeah, so why not? Who doesn't love pepperoni? Unless you're vegetarian, then I guess you won't, but <laughs> we like pepperoni in this house. Okay, so we'll do one more. There we go. And the last one, this last one, we're going to do a big slab of borson. If you've ever had this cheese, it's a very spreadable cheese filled with garlic and herbs. And oh, it's just so good. And in a calzone, it's amazing. You know, we'll put a little more basil on this one, too. And we'll get together a little more basil. All right. So now that we're done with our fillings and everything, we are going to moisten the outer edges just a little bit. Don't do too much water. Plus, it's just going to become a soggy mess. Just around the whole thing. Just kind of blotting it with your fingers. A little bit of water. And that one too. 
this one puts a little dry. All right, there we go. Right. Now, we're gonna fold them over. All right, so it's gonna take the top, just bring it over to the front. Now, doesn't that look like a calzone already? Isn't that fun? So easy. And then when you see how fast they cook, it's even more amazing. Right. I'm just gonna fold over the edges like this. Make a cute little package. So it looks like a big dumpling. And there is your calzone. Cute and easy. All right, we're gonna do the other ones. So our calzones are all done. So we're gonna let them sit on this um, sheet of wax paper that I dusted a little bit with flour so they don't stick. We're gonna let these sit for about 15 minutes to really make sure the seams um, are sealed. All right, you could easily air fry them right now too, but chances are they might pop on you. So we'll see these in about 15 minutes. All right, so these have been sitting out for 15 minutes. So I preheated the um, air fryer. I placed it in the air basket that I sprayed with some oil. And now I sprayed the top too, make it a little shiny. And now it's gonna go into the air fryer at 360 degrees for six minutes. That's all it takes. We'll see you in six minutes. Lulu, I have to cook it. It's gotta cook. So we just pulled this out of the air fryer. Six minutes. Six minutes. And look at this. Top. Look, beautifully cooked. Oh my gosh. So good. So easy. So fast. Now we're going to the rest of them. Yay. And here we have a meal fit for a queen. Yay. Enjoy your calzones, Lou. Are you looking for your dipping sauce? Ugh, I forgot your dipping sauce. I'm sorry, Lulu. I'll get your dipping sauce now. Enjoy. Yay. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel at Poppy's Cucina. Thanks.